Yes, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for support. I want to look at three things again. I want to look at three things and I want to communicate to married men. <laughs> married men, three things. Vitu vitatu vinavyovunja ndoa. Married men. Three things zinavujanga ndoa. And to say that oh, we are Africans, so oh, we are what, we are what. You have three things that break marriages. And if you investigate well, unapata kuna kitu moja hapo. Hata ukienda kwa mkutano na umeitwa ile mkutano ile meeting ya kusolve. These three things can't miss. <laughs> they can't miss whether you like it or not. Three things. Number one thing is what we call infidelity. Kuhanya nje. Women hate infidelity. Women hate infidelity. Wanawake wanachukia sana baleno ya kuchit. That is the truth. It's better you start understanding it now uh, as early as now. If you are entering marriage and you're thinking that you're going to cheat, you're planning to break your marriage. I want to share, shed some light here. Do you know why women hate uh, ch cheating? One, they have been exposed. Especially nowadays, women are, are career women. They have jobs. They, uh, kitambo, they used to they used to depend fully on a man. Therefore, a man could humiliate the, the, the lady whether uh, vila nataka. Are you seeing? Yeah? But nowadays, they are exposed and they have their money. So, you are entering a marriage as a partner. So, you are supposed to do two, you are supposed to do everything together. So, when you cheat, they, they see it that you are yani unawadharau. You know? Yeah? Unawadharau sana. Are you seeing that one? And they, now, they, they, they will opt to move out of that marriage. Cheating. Another thing that is making women to hate cheating is that they know the repercussions of cheating. You know, men are somehow, they were born reckless. But women are very sensitive about that thing. You can easily contact HIV, AIDS, or other diseases easily. Uh, your family, you immediately. So women are very, very sensitive. And women in nature, they are very possessive. Yeah, They are born to be very possessive things. They can be obsessed with something very much. Not like men. This is what Nasau are you seeing that one, yeah? They are very possessive. So that's why they, they tend to hate cheating. And they will not like you to cheat. So, one thing for Barrett Bell, what makes a marriage to break is cheating. A job na lenga, lakini That is the truth. And it stops giving examples that, oh, my father was a polygamous. If you plan to be polygamous, it's better you announce it as early as possible. And if you are planning to be polygamous, make sure, make sure you have money. If you don't have money, my friend, stop it. Stop, stop that dream of having a, being polygamous. Number two, number, the second thing that breaks marriages, men, I'm talking to married men, is what we call ulevi alcoholism or the use of drugs and substance whether you like it or not that is the truth ukienda kwa hiyo kikao you have been called for a meeting and you are being asked what happened ukisikia ati nilikuja nimekunywa nilienda nikalewa niliongea sikuwa soba the case is done what is causing a lot of uh, breakages in marriages is what we call uh, alcoholism or the use of drugs and substances. Do you know why alcoholism is causing breakages of marriages? One, alcoholism makes people to waste a lot of resources. Women will see that you are will see you as a person who is wasting resources. Therefore, you are you are not visionary. Yeah. Then, uh, alcoholism is is associated with the violence. You come very violent when you are drunk. So women will fear you, will see that you may come up home one day drunk and tend to kill them. The use of drugs also can, can affect the resources of the family, as we said earlier, the resources of the family. And also it, 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 it brings other, other, other instances, other instances like uh, cheating. Yeah? You can start cheating because of, uh, of alcoholism. You know, you're not function normally you're not normal yeah things are doing is not normal you're not doing them in a normal way so therefore you will 
tend to cheat. So, a woman we know that if this guy is a drunker, definitely he will start cheating. He's going to move out of marriage. Therefore, men, avoid alcoholism or drink moderately. Be a moderate drinker. Be a disciplined drinker and make sure you put your family first. That is number two. The third thing that breaks marriages, men, yeah, is family interference. Interference from the family. Men, you are supposed to understand that when you are married, you are supposed to move out from your family. As the Bible says, yeah? you move out from your family, from your father's house, your mother's house, and move then when you meet this person, you start making a family. They are listening. You make a family. So, the wife comes first. When you get the mother-in-law, the father-in-law is interfering your issues. Definitely that marriage is going to break. But they do you know why uh, marriages uh, between inter-tribal, uh, tribal uh, kisi like with Akikui Marin, why they break? It's not because of the love. It's not because of the two. No. The two are fine. Actually, the two are fine. The problem comes in when the family interferes. When the family interferes, they say, ah, where we are not according to Babuni, this tribe. And then this wife hears that one. And I go out. And I talk. And I talk with your family. Kabisa, and I You know why? Because of family. Men, I'm addressing you. The moment you are married, move over to the family. Listen to your wife. Start doing your own things. This is an extended family. You are starting a family. Where were the wife, the daughter? Those are the first people that you're supposed to listen to. Then your mother, then your family, and then your brothers. Don't allow those guys to interfere with your family. If they interfere, then that family will break. Definitely it will break. So three things. cheating, ni ya pili ya kwanza ni cheating ya pili uh, tumesema ni uh, alcoholism or the use of drugs number three is what we call family interference cheers